Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you what is in my clarinet case. There's not a lot really going on inside of my actual clarinet case, which is why I decided to add a couple little uh, things to this video instead of just my clarinet case, because like I said, there's not a lot inside of this. So I'm going to be showing you guys like what's in this pouch, as well as what's in my music folder. So if you guys are curious, then just keep on watching. So to start off, this case is just, you know, a simple clarinet case that basically just carries the clarinet in it. I don't have one of those like really fancy cases that like has inserts for music or like other clarinets or anything like that just because I don't really need it. I feel like it's just too much for me for not being a music major, which is why I just keep it simple and have just a simple clarinet case. This is the Buffet Cramp in Paris clarinet case. And obviously, well, I don't know if it's going to be obvious or not, but it should be pretty obvious that I have a buffet cramp and clarinet. So um, the clarinet that I have is the R13 Academy model by Buffet, and it's, it's a pretty good clarinet. So I'm going to show you what it looks like now. So you just open it up, and it's kind of a hot mess in here, but it has like some blue felting, or I don't know what you call this, like velvety material. So that's cool and it keeps it soft inside and then I have my clarinet cleaner in here for cleaning my clarinet after I practice or after rehearsals. I clean it every single time I finish rehearsing and band or practicing. I obviously have my clarinet in here so that's just what that is. And on the left hand insert there's just a bunch of wreaths that I like to keep in here. And then I have some court grease in here. And I have like this little red reed holder sort of thing that I got in like middle school, as well as my ligature. But that's basically everything in my clarinet case. So moving on, I decided to include what's like in my little pouch, even though there's really not a lot going on inside of this. But I have this pink pouch that has a bunch of music notes in it that I got from Forever 21 a little while ago. And I basically just keep this inside of my backpack just because it's small enough to fit in there and, and not in my clarinet case. But I just have reeds in here and that's about it. I carry the three and a half strength Van Doren reeds and I have some four strength reeds inside of my clarinet case which I don't really like playing on that much. I also have a bunch of Mitchell Lurie three and a half reeds, which are nice. And then I have my little uh, Rico clarinet reed case that I got from Amazon and it just has like a bunch of clarinet reeds that I can carry around with me. And it can also carry saxophone reeds if you really wanted to. So it's pretty nice and very lightweight, which is something that I really like. But with the Mitchell Lurie reeds and Van Dorn reeds, these are both three and a halves, but they definitely do not feel like three and a halves. I like playing on Mitchell Lurie reeds because I feel like it's easier to achieve that full sound. And it's a little more harder with Van Dorn reeds because you need like a lot of air support and plus these never come like very evenly distributed. But at the same time, sometimes I don't like playing on Mitchell Lurie reeds because whenever I do high notes, I feel like I tend to squeak more than I do whenever I'm playing with Van Doren reeds. I mean, I like playing with both of these, but I mean, they also have their things that I am not so fond of, so I mean, there's definitely nothing wrong with that. So the last thing that I'm going to be showing you guys is what is in my music folder. And this is just my band folder that I carry around with me all the time in my backpack. And it has right here the University of Iowa Symphony Band. So I'm in the Symphony Band and it says up here it's second clarinet three but I'm actually third clarinet one. So I have just a bunch of stuff on both sides so I'm gonna go through the right hand side first. And this side is just mostly like stuff that I do in my lessons or warm-ups in band and that's basically all it is. But I'm going to try to go through this real quickly. So the first thing that I see here is the seating audition we had to do for this semester. And it was just a small excerpt from a song called Symphonic Metamorphosis. 
So that was pretty cool. It got me practicing. And then the next thing that I see here are articulation exercises that I was assigned for my lesson because I'm actually taking lessons this semester. I didn't last semester, but I did second semester of last year, if that makes sense. I really enjoy my lessons. They get me practicing and I want to be a little more classically trained because I'm definitely not. So <laughs> the next thing that I see here is a song called Canzonetta by Gabriel Pierney. I have yet to play this. I haven't played it before ever in my life, but I'm assuming I'm going to for my lessons. So the next thing that I see in here is just like a bunch of random etudes, I guess. They're just random stuff that were assigned to me last year, second semester for my lessons. So it's just kind of old stuff, but it's still good stuff, you know, to keep me practicing. I also have this warm-up book, and it's called Sound Training 26 Corrals of J.S. Bach, arranged by Wayne Gorder, and we just play these small corrals as warm-ups um, during rehearsals at the very beginning. Usually we play a scale, and then we tune and we play different chords of that scale, and then we go on and play a chorale. And I just really like all the chorales in here when we play them as an ensemble. I think they're all so beautiful. So the next thing that I have in here is a book that I actually downloaded from the internet. It's 32 Etudes for Clarinet by C. Rose. It's also known as the Rose Etude Book, and it just has a bunch of etudes all that good stuff. I've only played a couple of these and I really like them, but I'm assigned etude number five for my lesson on Tuesday, so I gotta prepare for that. So the next thing that I have in here is a song that I played in my lesson last Tuesday, and it's called Aria, and I really, really love this song. It's by Eugene Boza. Baza? I don't know. I'm really butchering the names. My bad. But it's just a really beautiful and simple clarinet solo and I'm absolutely in love with this. I kind of want to film myself playing this just because it's like really pretty and stuff. But I also need a piano player to help me out so I might do that. And then the next thing that I see here is a song called Irish Tune from County Derry and this was just a warm-up for the beginning of one of our rehearsals in band, but it's a very pretty piece nonetheless. And then the last thing that I see, well second to last on this side of the folder is another warm-up book. It's 16 Corrals by J.S. Bach and it just has a bunch of German written in it and it's just warm-ups. So there's that. So the last thing that's on this side of my folder is our course syllabus. And it just has all the rules and policies for being in band as well as the performance schedule or concert dates. And that's basically all that's on the right hand side. So now I'm going to switch over to the left hand side and this basically has all of our songs that we play for our concert as well as a pencil. So I always carry a pencil because it's very important to take notes. So if you're in band, make sure you always have a pencil. So the first song that I see here is a really great song called High Wire by John Mackey. It's really upbeat and fast sometimes and it has a bunch of meter changes and I really enjoy playing this piece. It's one of my favorites. And then the next one is called Chardas. Chardas? Chardas? I don't know. But um, this actually features a guest trumpet soloist. And the person who plays the trumpet solo for this piece as well as another piece is called Dr. Jones and he's the uh, professor of the trumpet studio. I don't really know him very well but what I do know about him is that he's the best trumpet player I've ever heard. So this is always a great piece to play during band. And then the next piece also features the same trumpet soloist and it's called Someone to Watch Over Me by George Gershwin. This is like a slow ballad and it's very beautiful. And then the next piece is actually really challenging but really, really awesome. It's called Sound and Smoke for Wind Band. And it's, I think, by Viet Quang. And it has two movements, both of which I really like. And it's really fast and there's a bunch of runs. And I really enjoyed playing this piece. If you guys 
want to listen to it. This is probably my favorite piece on the program, but it's called Sound and Smoke, and you guys can probably find a recording of it on YouTube. And then these last two, I think we just played as warm-ups. These are not pieces that we're going to play in the concert, but we played Salvation is Created, which I don't remember playing this, by Chetsnokov. Chetsnokov? And we also played Nimrod Today by Edward Alger. And these were just warm-up pieces, so... Yeah, that is basically everything that is in my folder. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what's in your clarinet case or what's in your music folder. I really hope this video was somewhat entertaining. I've never done anything like this before, but I really enjoyed sharing with you guys what I've been up to this semester. I love you guys so, 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 so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!